We are hearing heartbreaking testimony from the mother of Colin McGrath, the little boy killed in a chain reaction crash in South Boston. On the stand today, she explained how she learned about the crash. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes. I'm Paula Eben. David is off. And she also recounted the panicked moments as she raced to the hospital to be with her son. As WBZ's Brandon Truitt tells us, her story began with a phone call. And I was like, I, I, need, I know something's going on. You've got to tell me what's going on. And he was like, ma'am, I need you to stay calm. I need you to, to just focus on driving. And I was just like, oh, my God, he's going to die. From the beginning, Carrie McGrath says she knew the condition of her son wasn't good. McGrath recalls being in the emergency room while doctors performed CPR and tried to revive her son, but he was gone. She said, yes. I said, just stop. And let me hold him. He just said, stay with him as long as you can. She laid with him for hours. Earlier in the day, the jury heard from Tracy Lewis, nanny to the McGrath family for seven years. Lewis says she was on a routine walk with the two McGrath children along L Street in South Boston when a van came rushing toward them. It came to a stop on top of my stroller that Colin was sitting in. And I started screaming at him to get the van off of calling. New surveillance video played in court shows the crash in the upper part of your screen. From this angle, you can see Lewis pushing the stroller with Colin in it, his sister following behind. No more than six seconds after they stepped out of the frame, they were hit. That crash became the work of the Boston police detective William Zubrin. Uh, if you can think of it, I've investigated it. Zubrin's testimony laid out the facts of this case. In his view, the Toyota Prius allegedly driven by 67-year-old Charlene Casey pulled out in front of a van with the right of way. This caused the van steering to go out and the driver of that van to lose control. The defense argued that speed and reaction times could have changed the outcome and pointed to a marijuana pipe found in the van's console. But the detective stated he ran the test and speed did not play a factor. Prosecutors defiant the driver of the van is not at fault.